everybody, it's Kelly from My Soulful Home. Today I'm going to teach you how to pick the perfect white paint. Literally anyone who's lived anywhere has probably had the opportunity to pick a white paint and they probably agonized over it. But after you watch the video, the agony is over because you are going to understand white paint and therefore you're going to be able to pick the perfect white paint every time. The first thing to know about white paint is that there are very few pure white paints. Most white paints have undertones, so you have to understand the undertones. And once you do that, and it's super easy, but once you do that, the mystery is solved, the agony is over, and you'll be picking the perfect white paint for any space. The key to understanding white paint is to recognize that most white paints are going to have an undertone. They're going to either have an undertone that is cool or an undertone that is warm. The cool undertones tend to be bluish or even greens or maybe even a little bit of violet or grays and then the warmer whites are going to have a pinkish maybe reddish yellowish undertone your eye isn't able to pick up these undertones right away you can certainly train your eye to do that and watching this video is going to really help you but i've got a trick for you so when you have a sample of a white that you think might have an undertone but you're not sure if it's a cool undertone or it's a warm undertone or whether there's an undertone at all compare it to something that's pure white so something like this daisy, but you might not always have a daisy on hand. So just use pure white printer paper. Take the paint sample, whether it's a chip or a large sample or a piece of paper that you have painted with the color that you are thinking about using and compare that to something pure white. So just lay it on top of that printer paper and the undertone should jump right off the page, literally at you. You should be able to tell when you're comparing to a pure white, whether it's a warm or a cool undertone. Nuances created by the undertones in most white paints, then you can go on to consider uh, the palette that you're using in your room and the natural light that that room gets. So if your palette tends towards the cooler colors, blues and greens, grays, violets perhaps, then you're probably gonna wanna go with a cooler white. If you're more of a warm colored person and you've got yellows and reds and pinks and the warmer sort of orangey colors, then a warm white is probably going to accent that palette better than a cool one. And then of course there are pure whites and they exist, but you may not recognize them either by the color name or just on a chip by themselves until you compare them to these other whites. So I will give you some specific paint brands and paint colors that fall into these different categories at the end of the video. So we talked about natural light. Natural light really plays an impact on any paint color that you choose, but particularly white. So if you're in a room that has a lot of natural light, you may be able to go with a really pure white. Uh, and a warm white would look really nice as well. And you could probably get away with a cool white. A lot of natural light will allow most paint colors to look their best. But if you're in a darker room or a north facing room, which would tend to be darker, you may not want to go with a cooler white. It might end up looking dingy. And then a warm white just might not look its best either because you're not gonna have that undertone um, being played off with the sunlight. So that's a tough type of room to paint white. You may wanna consider a north facing room not to be a candidate for white paint, maybe choose a different color. But in any room that gets a, you know, a good amount of natural light, uh, up to a lot of natural light, will do really well with really any of the, the white categories, whether it be warm, cool, or pure. I promise the agony is now over. You understand how to pick the right white. It's pretty simple, right? You just have to recognize that there are undertones to white paints and figure out which undertones, whether it be the cool or the warm, is gonna work best with your palette and the natural light present in the room. And if you're going to choose a pure white, then you know, you're pretty free and clear to use it in just about any room. You just might wanna stay away from any white in a north facing room. It may not just, might not just look its best. So before we get into the specific paints that I'm gonna suggest that you explore in the various categories of white, I just wanna talk about the color names. Do not be swayed by a really lovely color name. It may not be descriptive of what that paint's gonna look like on the wall. And that is true of white paints and any paints, right? 
it must be really fun to have that job to make up of paint name colors but I mean just think about it I mean how many different ways can you say white so sometimes the descriptive word may not match what the paint actually looks like on the wall. One example is Benjamin Moore's linen white. When I think of linen white, I think of a crisp white linen shirt. I don't think of a creamy white, but in fact, linen white, the paint, is creamy on the wall. So just be aware of that and don't get swept away with a name that you fall in love with. You have to test the paints. Okay, so here are some great whites that you might want to try. Benjamin Moore dove white. It's an off-white, but it's got subtle hits of gray. It's nice and warm. It's a lovely, lovely color. Extra White by Sherman Williams. Um, that is a true crisp, clean, and it is devoid of undertone. So that is one of your pure whites. Uh, and the name there does suggest that it should be a pure white, extra white by Sherman Williams. White Linen, what I just talked to you about, that is a creamy white. Uh, so it tends to be warmer. It's a lovely color, but it's not a pure white. Super white, also a warm white. And Benjamin Moore's Simply White, my absolute favorite white that is warm, but it's, it's really very um, crisp and clear, but it tends to be a little bit warmer. It's a great white to use everywhere. I did use it inside and outside, absolutely everywhere. Are there any really bad whites? Well, in my humble opinion, I don't like Swiss coffee. I know a lot of people like it, so don't get upset with me. If you like it or you have it, I'm sure it looks lovely in your house. I just have never had a good experience with it, and I think it's kind of a default color. It seems to be one of those colors that painters just pick up on, and so if someone's unsure, they're like, Swiss coffee, and all of a sudden, you kind of have these sort of dirty looking white walls. Sorry, but that's my opinion. I don't like atrium white either. I think that has too strong of a pink undertone. Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified. We would love to have you along with us each and every time we put out a new video. And for anyone who doesn't know, I do have a podcast all about decorating. It's called Decorating Tips and Tricks. And you can find us on iTunes or any of your other podcast players or at decoratingtipsandtricks.com. So I'll see you again soon and good luck picking out the white paint.